pillows are here. I don't know how loud it is. I'll have to check when I'm done to see if I'm going to have to re-record this or not. But this just falls under when you're butting heads with your manager. Yeah, another one. Yay. So, I'm just going to do a rant while I drive because it's annoying. I don't feel as mad now because I'm, a, I'm just on the phone with one of my friends. So, like, now I'm not as annoyed. But it's still really annoying. But, um, so load I was on previously before I got this one it was a three-stop one and I had to deliver one on the first part on the sixth and the other two on the eighth and they couldn't take me early so I had to sit for a day but um so I delivered the other two and I went to go pick up this one that I have now it was a split someone else picked it up and dropped it at a drop yard so I had to drive like 140 miles to get it and stuff. So on the way there, I took a break, whatever, because I was like really sleepy and really hungry, whatever. And when I got there and I got the trailer and everything, I sent in the macro that we all have to send in that gives the managers all the information they need. I sent that at about 3.39 p.m started driving I put you know all the information and when I get there it says it's supposed to be there on the 10th at 1045 I picked this up at on the 8th at completed loading so at 3 at 339 p.m. from where I picked up that trailer to my destination in Texas is 1,308 miles, all right? So from where I was in North Carolina to where I gotta go in Texas, 1,308 miles. I drove, I, I told them, I, I did the math. I'm like, I only have a few hours left today. I have like about four hours left in my drive time and I'll probably be able to drive another 100 maybe or 120 miles and even then even if I you know I still have two full days like 500 miles that's like that one full day of driving maybe a little bit more but either way by the time I get there they will be closed because it says they close at 4 p.m. for me to drive 500 miles by the time I'm done for the day and I've driven 500 miles or over 500 miles, it's about 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. by the time I'm done for the day. So they're a long close by the time I get there. So I'm like, okay, I'll get there Saturday. But the problem is Google says, well, Google says one that close at four and then and it also says that they are not open on weekends. So I'm gonna end up sitting for the weekend. And so I'm like, okay, great, whatever fine it is what it is so I drove the two hours because I usually drive like until I have about two hours left on the clock and find somewhere to stop <laughs> and, and so I stopped I was driving through severe thunderstorms that's fun it went from like regular thunderstorm to hailing like what who does that Mother, Mother Nature is very unhappy with us guys. We need to do something. But I get a message because it was like 10 a.m. So I hadn't I hadn't started rolling yet. And normally I would like I used to be able to get rolling by like no later than seven. But I'm just so fucking tired. And I my sleep has gotten so much worse that I get roughly four to five hours of sleep every night. But I don't sleep those all those hours either, so it's just I'm so damn tired. It's so much harder to get moving. And um, but I get a message talking about uh, when are you gonna get rolling? This has to be there on the 10th at you know by 3:45 p.m. Uh, are you gonna be able to make it on time? And I'm just looking like. Did you 
not read the macro two that I sent in. It's literally everything in these things and all the macros. There's like 70 of them or something like that. I can't check because I'm driving and my folder's over there. But there's like 70 macros that ask you specific things that apply to that situation. With mandatory red, red, red boxes that you have to fill out. And one of those in the macro too is are you going to be able to deliver on time? Yes or no? Put yes or no put yes or no you still put what the date and the time you put yes you put the date and the time of the delivery if you say no you put the date and the time that you believe that you'll be there i put saturday afternoon because i'm counting i'm accounting for the hundred or so miles i will have left over by the time saturday rolls around because i'm like okay i drove some on the 8th I have a full day on the 9th, full day on the 10th. And I'll still have maybe a hundred some miles left. Maybe. But either way, it's still two full days. I can't escape that to those two full days. It will be closed by the time I get there on the 10th, regardless. It doesn't matter. Saturday is when I would get there. And I put it in the macro. And she still sent me messages with all this stuff in it. And that's what really pisses me off. You have us send these messages and then you don't read them and then you message me like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing and that like I'm a horrible worker. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I have not been driving for very long but I know this basic shit that we all do all the fucking time. It's spelled out for you. I know. So why the hell are you asking me this when it's in the macro? Because now you're looking like you don't know what the fuck you're doing because you're asking me what's going on and I already told you what was going on in the fucking macro. And the shit was already late. It said it was supposed to be picked up between the, mm, the 7th and the 8th, between these times. I picked it up in the afternoon of the 8th, when my clock was basically almost done. And it's still 1,300 miles from point A to point B. How the hell did you, ex did you think a solo driver was going to make that? Because even... A team driver, yes. Teams, they would have made that. I'm a solo driver. That's not going to fucking happen. So why are you messaging me like this? Fucking read it. And then they give me these late loads all the time. And they do this shit. They don't read it. They give me these late loads that have been sitting there for two, three days. Ready for someone to pick them up. But no one's picked them up. So I come along. And then they're like, can you make it on time? No, I cannot make it on time. You have to account for the fact when I got there, how much time I have left on my clock, and then how much time I have to get there. It doesn't, it doesn't compute. <laughs> it does not compute. That shit pisses me off when they do that. Like, I get it that sometimes it cannot be helped that a load is late when you pick it up. I get that, but it's been sitting there for days. And even this one, it wasn't, it was sitting there for like a day, I guess. But the fact that the delivery time is so close, that's, that's, so sometimes the delivery day, you can kind of make it because you still have enough time left over. But it's not the case most of the time. Most of the time, I don't have that much time. So it's, no, it's not going to get there. And that's exactly what happened this time. I have a day and some change to get there to drive 1300 miles we only have 11 hours to drive 500 miles and find somewhere to sleep because you can't just drive 11 hours just keep driving 11 hours so your clock runs out and then ask for personal conveyance to get sort of somewhere to sleep that's not what you're doing because they're going to catch on to that and they're like oh you're abusing the system that's only there because if you're sitting there trying to get a load or deliver and they have you sit there till your clock runs out or if you've been driving and you can't find somewhere to sleep because they're all full because sometimes that's how it is the later you drive you know the harder it is to find parking because there's so many of us and then especially on certain routes there's not a lot of truck stops and then when there are they're smaller ones so they have about 20 spaces or something that's what it's there for so it's like sometimes I can get lucky and drive a little over 500. 
but that's not the case. So when they do this, I get so pissed. And I sent that to her in a message. I was like, when I picked this up, when I sent the macro to, I said, when I picked this up, it was 3.49 p.m. I was 1,308 miles away. I'm currently 1,000, I was like 1,100 something when I, uh, at the rest area that I was at. And I said, in the macro too, I said I'd be there Saturday. And sent that. I, did, I, I really want to just kind of, I'm not the snappy type of person. I'm not going to like go off on people because it's just my brain doesn't form words to do so. But like, I, I, it forms like one sentence. Like, are you kidding? You know, it, it, it basic shit. Like, it's in the macro. Fucking read it. Like, I really want to like call and snap on folks. Like, are you like basically what I just said, but in, in a more angry way. <laughs> and it's just like all it, like y'all don't pay attention to none of this stuff. Like I get it, the mileage is sometimes off from wherever we are. Sometimes it's off by like ten miles, give or take. You know, I get that. That's fine. But you can look at the mileage. Granted, if it's off by ten miles or whatever, and still you can calculate how long that would take. And five hundred miles straight up it's still one full day regardless by the time you drive 500 miles wherever that is a local business hour is closed by the time you've reached that amount so the fact that y'all don't pay attention to this you know and then you send it and that it's just it's so And it's funny because like I sent that, exactly that, what I said about the 13, whatever, and third day, no, I had got no reply back for like 30 minutes. You had nothing to say? Because you're quick to say something when you think I'm in trouble. Quick to say something when you think I'm in trouble, but then when I say something back correcting you, you're like, correcting you politely, mind you. <laughs> they take forever to say anything back and then they say like one word <laughs> this time they're like gotcha thanks <laughs> I'm like it's there spelled out for you clear as day you can't miss it but apparently you do because you don't read it there's no fucking point in me sending this shit if y'all still gonna be lost in the sauce and not reading it and y'all the ones organizing this. You can't be lost in the sauce, but you choose to be lost in the sauce. I'm like, no. If y'all are swamped with work, then you might want to think about hiring another person then. If that's too much for y'all. If that's what it is. Whereas like you have so many people you forget. Or something, which I don't expect them to remember what load you're on or whatever, what load was given. I don't expect you, I don't expect them to memorize it, but I expect them to at least have read what the fuck that message is. At least go back and read it if you need to. Something like that before you snap on me and try to make me feel like I'm inadequate. That's just my thing. I don't like that. figured I would rant and drive at the same time. I really don't know how well you can hear me and how loud the background sound, background noise is. I can't tell until I listen to this later. And I, it's, I know it's really shaky. Because, <laughs> you know, it's a truck. I don't have none of that, none of that fancy stuff. Like the, the fancy GoPros, which I do plan on getting one. I'm going to order one forgot to do it yesterday. I ordered a bunch of stuff yesterday and I totally forgot to order that tonight. So I need to order that tonight so I can get there and be there by the time I get home. And then bring it with me and I can figure out how to use it while I'm out on the road. Which will take me like the two whole weeks to do it because I'm just so tired. <laughs> but yeah. That is it. That's all I wanted to get off my chest today. With this 
nonsense. I just don't like that. I just, I don't like that. Don't, don't come at me like that. Don't make me look like I, I don't know what I'm doing when it was just there for you. I'm not intentionally making anything late. That's literally like what I can do. Like we're restricted by time. Like it's, it's a rule that we cannot drive. Each driver can't go more than 11 hours. That's it. That's all we got. And then we have to do a 10 hour rest break and then drive again. So I, I don't know what you expect me to do. Like looking at my other GPS, it says I'll be there at 3.55 a.m. And that's if I don't stop. I stopped to like fuel the 30 minute break through the rest of my hours, let the dog out. It'll probably say like 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. tomorrow. But that's if I am constantly driving. I can't constantly drive. I have to stop for a 10 hour rest break. And I would get sleepy anyway, so I wouldn't do it regardless. So, yeah. But anyways. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Like right now I've been driving for an hour and 34 minutes. I'm at 1,081 miles. It's only so fast I can go. Uh, anyways, check the links in the description below for my social media and my dog's Instagram. I'm pointing her on the floor, but you can't see her. Just over there looking at me. <laughs> looking all chicken-like. She's so scary. Anyways.